What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today, whew, looks like Ryan Johnson's trilogy is happening, unfortunately. Now, I'm on record many times I have said that I don't think his trilogy is happening. I was saying that right after I saw The Last Jedi. I was like, the reaction to this movie is so bad. There's no way that they can move forward with his trilogy. He's a liability. So, even if you like that movie, which I don't know why you do, but even if you do, you have to admit, man, like, he's a liability at this point. Like, you, the problem is, is the people that like The Last Jedi, they don't really think in logic and common sense. So, they don't really think that way. But if you're looking at this objectively, Ryan Johnson is an absolute liability to the brand of Star Wars. And probably any film he's going to touch moving forward. But we have reports now uh, that it says, uh, along with the news uh, that preparations might be underway for a third live-action uh, series, possibly for Disney+, Plus, the site Fanta Tracks is reporting that Disney has reg or that Disney registered a production company likely meant to work for the first film of Ryan Johnson's trilogy. Of course, this hasn't been confirmed, and Lucasfilm is very secretive over their plans for the future of the franchise. But e, e Industries UK Limited was registered in a batch with other companies. For those who are unsure of the significance of this, every major film and TV production is registered as a separate entity under the banner of a larger studio. As Fanta Tracks noted, Star Wars The Last Jedi was registered under the company Space Bear Industries UK Limited with the working title of Space Bear. This doesn't mean that filming has begun or set to begin, but just that Lucasfilm can begin hiring staff in order to develop the project. And those crew members would be employed under the banner of e, e Industries. There were questions over the future of Ryan Johnson's trilogy after the unverified blog site. But yeah, we know about that. Uh, he said that's not true. We know about that. Um, so, again, we don't know what this means other than the story is out there. It's being reported. I don't know the site Fantha tracks. Probably a, a decent fan-run site for Star Wars, so I don't know anything about them. But ultimately, Lucasfilm has not confirmed this. Disney has not confirmed this. Um, the, the information is out there for a reason, and the reason is probably so they can get feedback. Uh, you don't want the feedback that's coming for this. Uh, Ryan Johnson is a liability. Ryan Johnson is not wanted within Star Wars from Star Wars fans. Uh, the social justice freaks... They're all about having Ryan Johnson, but Star Wars fans aren't. We don't want him. We will not go support his movie. I will not pay my money to see anything that Ryan Johnson directs or produces under the Star Wars banner. Period. End of discussion. Now, people have asked me, well, Jeremy, he's going to be working in a new trilogy with all new characters in a new setting. So he won't have an opportunity to ruin any characters uh, that we grew up with. That has nothing to do with it. Now, I've said this before on a live stream. I'll say it again. I'll try to keep this PG-13 if I can. <laughs> Ryan Johnson messed up his opportunity for anything to happen in the future of Star Wars in terms of Star Wars fans. So it's like I've said many times. If you meet a girl, you're a guy, you meet a girl, and you want to have a relationship with this girl, you want to develop something with this girl, you want to have you know fun with this girl down the road, you want something that's going to last, you don't walk up to her and try to bang her. You don't try to walk up to her and tell her straight up, yo, let's do that thing. Well, you don't do that, okay? Why do you not do that? Because you're trying to develop something long term. So you want to develop something first before you take it to that level, right? Right. Now, if it's a girl that you're just looking to have a one night stand with, then yeah, go up there and say that. And if she takes you up on that offer, she's not someone that you wanted to have a long term relationship with anyway. So with Star Wars, Ryan Johnson. Ryan Johnson wanted a long term relationship with Star Wars fans, right? Okay. Well, Ryan Johnson, you didn't have the right to walk up and just start taking established characters in an established iconic universe and just doing whatever the hell you wanted with them. We may have given you that leeway with your new trilogy if you would have respected these characters to begin with and showed us that you actually cared about the lore. But you proved that you only had one thing on your mind and we are the hot girl in this situation and we're telling you we don't want anything to do with you because you're a douchebag. That's what we're saying. My God, it is so hard to stay PG-13 while talking about this because I really just want to go full Jeremy and say what I want to say. But I'm trying to keep it to where I don't get demonetized. Anyway, that's the point. So Ryan Johnson lost any opportunity from Star Wars fans to have 
any leeway in the future to do anything in a future Star Wars project because he showed us his true colors to begin with. He never cared about Star Wars. He never wanted to benefit Star Wars. He never wanted to build the mythology. He never wanted to add to the mythology. He wanted to screw Star Wars up because he is a troll. Therefore, we don't care about him. We don't want him involved and we're not going to support what he does. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe. Also check out my personal channel, D-Day Cobra, D-D-A-Y-C-O-B-R-A. Check out geeksandgamers.com. We have a merch store, hats, hoodies. Soon we're going to have beanies. We're going to have, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, t-shirts and hoodies. Soon we're going to have hats and beanies and stickers. So go support the merch store on geeksandgamers.com. You guys have a great day and we will talk to you later.